Hi Bruce from Safari. We're doing our training video again because the phone screen was too hard to read. So this is a training video on Starlight. There, that's the keypad we're going to use. That screen, the Star Touch. This is the wireless uh, Bluetooth wireless. That one's built in. Panel mount. And so when this is surface mount, that block is designed to go down on the surface. You see the two rare earth magnets there. For panel mount, the back of this one here is circular. It's a 60 millimeter diameter. And so you can just hole saw that. That then just will go into the panel or it can be surface mount. So I'm going to use that today. It can also be a portable unit. Now, when uh, Starlight is shipped out, it's shipped out with a harness like this. And the harness uh, wires are labeled and uh, the plug goes into the end. And that pattern on the plug is this pattern up here that you see on the display that we're going to come back and use. To connect the wires, we're using Wago one-to-ones. Uh, they're not included in the kit, they're optional extras. Um, they're about a dollar each, and um, they're an excellent way. You don't need any crimping tools, excellent for the do it yourself -er. So let's now just have a look at what we've got on Starlight here. We are reading the battery voltage up here, and Starlight does not need uh, any fuses going out. It has a fuse coming in, but no fuses going out. And if I go to the trip settings here and touch that, then what appears down here is the threshold voltage. So you can specify a voltage here. If it drops below that, it turns off to save your battery. And we also have a threshold here for current. So we have a threshold on the positive channels and on the negative channels. So one of the clever things on Starlight here is that we are switching positive channels and we're switching negative. Why are we doing that? Because LED lights are always dimmed and switched on the negative on the positive is a lot more complex and it uses a lot more energy. But the positive channels are used for things like um, water pumps, other positive devices that you want to turn on. We don't recommend a fridge, uh, but uh, positive channels can also be used for LEDs or fixed lights, like uh, big steady 48 watt LEDs can be switched on the positive. We have four positive and six negative channels. Now, Let's configure and turn something on. So we pick a channel number at the top, and I'm picking this number one up here. And then I want to use this keypad. That's a CAN bus keypad. I touch CAN bus. I select a letter code here. If we've got more than one keypad, we can have A to K keypads. If you've got more than one, then they have to be different numbers. It doesn't matter what numbers they are, but they have to be uh, different uh, letters, I should say. So uh, I'm going to select A and I'm going to do G1 here. Now, just to show you down here, there's the letter codes that you can see down here uh, on that keypad. And then a number appears here, uh, CAN ID, and if I just simply turn that on now, the light's coming on. I'm going to turn this on later, and it turns off. Now I want to configure the Bluetooth. So I touch Bluetooth on the screen here, and I scan for the Bluetooth, and then once I scan for the Bluetooth, I'm going to press this button up here, and once I press that button up here, you can see it appears here on the Bluetooth. I then turn that off. And now if I press this button here, then the light's coming on. So I can turn it on with one and off with the other. And lastly, I'm going to do the touch display here and put that in. And I touch uh, Star Touch here. I have to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Canopy. And I put the word Canopy in there. I press update on here, the word canopy appears, and if I now scroll this way, there's the word canopy appearing, and if I press this button here on it, the light comes on, and if I, and you can see the ring lights up around the word canopy, and if I turn this off, you can see the ring turning off around canopy. Now we have the dual uh, display. Now what the dual channel means is that one channel can be white and the other can be amber or blue, any color you wish really. And when you double press the keypad, it will switch between both channels. So we touch dual, it appears here. And if I touch this channel button here, it will then rotate through. You can see it's rotating up here. So if I press dual, um, I can then rotate through different dual channels up there. But let's go back to this one down here because this dual channel down here is connected to this light. So we now want to configure that. So we go into the CAN bus keypad. We select type A again, which is what this one is. 
and we're going to select this bottom button here which is five and that's all we got to do and now when I press this this light comes on double press it and it changes color I don't know whether you can see that on the camera that's red and the other one is white and then if I double press a third time it will go into pink so it'll go white uh, that's the pink color and that's the red color so it does one color second color and then joins both together to get a warm color so if it's white and amber when you join it together you get this beautiful golden glow now we want to just have a look at the RGBW so I'm going to turn that off and RGBW stands for uh, red green uh, blue and the W for white but we can change the color on here so I'm going to add a bit of blue in here which gives me the beautiful color pink which I like so if I put in here 140 and I go next on here the color that appears on the tablet here is the color that's going to appear on the light so we've now got that one configured on there we and I've got to update the color now we go down and do the keypad so I select um, A and I'm going to select button 7 I pre-selected it and now that I've got that running on the keypad uh, if I press this button on now then I've got the pink color that I specified here coming on and if I double press I've got white so what happens with the RGBW is you get the color and then you can get white so there's the color double press and then I get white so that's a, a very unique uh, feature to uh, Starship um, let's now change the color on the display so you've got this display in the cab and you want to change the color we go to the star touch down here we touch this and we're now going to call this and I'll just call it color the color appears here and now if I rotate this there's the word color and I can turn the light on and off that's white and if I want to change the color of that then I simply uh, scroll down and I can dial up any color of the rainbow here for that light so I'm back into pink uh, blue purple and I can go all the way around into uh, green and uh, you can change any color you like so on the fly in your cab you can change the color depending on the mood you want to see in and if you look over here the color selected at the moment is this color here on the tablet so as I rotate that color you can see the color over here changing on the configuration page so if that's your phone you can see what color you're going to end up with before you turn it on so what we've covered now is using the CAN bus keypad configuring the Bluetooth and also con configuring the star touch we can have up to six buttons on any one device so you could have uh, three of these one of these and two of these and switch any device or you can have more of the Bluetooth so the setup here is such that once you've got it uh, completely done like this you can take the power off put the power back on and it will retain that setup and you can put the name in here in the channel name for each of the names so I called this one before color and I can put the name in here and you don't need to have it written down anywhere else there it is there I haven't spelled it right so that's the uh, run through on uh, Starship and Starlight, I've got to say, how good's that?